Hi, my name is Gianum. In this video vlog, I would like to talk about pain in the area of the quadratus lumborum with a positive trendelibus sign. I'm making this video to help clarify and explain the concepts of this common hip-related lower back issue and the simple pain prevention protocol. I'm excited to share this information because of the immediate effects that I've experienced myself. I refer to a case study who presents with a decreased lumbar lordosis, otherwise known as flatback syndrome, with a slight posterior pelvic tilt. This is actually me. Hamstrings and glutes become restricted in hip extension. Hamstrings are mobilizers, whereas glutes are stabilizers. But when the glutes are deconditioned and the hamstrings are restricted, the body adapts by recruiting synergistic muscles to mobilize and stabilize the hip joint. In this case study, due to neuroplasticity and myofascial adaptation, hamstring dominance impedes glute activation, a preference towards loading one side of the hip while externally rotating the other side suggests hip abductor insufficiency on the side of the hip that is externally rotated. Hip abductor insufficiency presents itself during gait as a hip hike, which is called Trendelenburg gait. Lumbopelvic stability in motion is maintained by forced closure of the sacroiliac joint. Glued meat is a stabilizer of the hip joint and abduction, so a lateral hip tilt will force the quadratus lumborum, a synergistic muscle on the other side of the hip tilt, to contract and pull up to stabilize the hip and cause the hip to hike. This is characteristic of a hip abductor dysfunction. If left untreated, overuse and repetition of hip abductor dysfunction can lead to trigger point pain in various areas of the body and sports injury. The trigger point pain in the synergistic muscles of hip abduction is telling you to activate the glute med on the other side of the hip but your body has forgotten how to activate the glute med. To assist in glute med activation, you need to apply neuromuscular facilitation using the clamshell exercise technique. Start by lying on the painful side with your knees bent and one leg on the top of the other with the feet together. Maintain a neutral spine engaging your abdominals if you need to. Stack your hips and don't let the top hip move backwards. Remember, less is more. Too much effort negates the ability to activate the glutes. Auxiliary movement and active hip mobilization. This is a simple exercise to maintain healthy hips. Stand in a comfortable narrow lunge position. Bend both knees slightly and make and auxiliary movement with your hips. Weighted glued bridge. A simple and effective exercise at the later stages is a glued bridge. Lie down facing up with knees bent and place a dumbbell across both hips. To recruit glued med in this exercise, wear a resistance band across both legs. Lift the hips into the bridge position, hold and slowly lower down. Repeat three sets of 10 reps. So there you have it. My name is Gianum. I'm a myotherapist in Sydney.